This is the first of a series of videos on the prepared flute and how to prepare your instrument for the techniques. The first one we're starting with is cigarette paper. Super easy to do. It only takes you four items. Number one, cigarette paper. Two, tape, uh, scissors, and your flute. So let's get started. So you could make a discussion about the different types of cigarette paper or rolling paper. Um, they all do have a different, slightly different sound um, depending on which one you choose because of the texture and weight and all of that. I have a bunch of them here. Um, but the one I'm going to use today is just zigzag cigarette paper. You might have that that you use to uh, fix your sticky keys in a moment uh, when you really, really need to fix it. Um, but you can use any type of cigarette paper that you want but I'm using zigzag. All right, so what you gotta do is find your cigarette paper and you need to cut it so that it's in a shape that can go underneath the key but not touch any other key. So I have a nice little shape kind of like that and it's gonna go underneath my A key. Now you need something to keep it down so that it doesn't move. Now I'm gonna put tape on the end here. So you have your flute and it's gonna go underneath your A key. It takes the cigarette paper, perfectly shaped, stick it underneath my A key here. And once I have done that, I'm going to push the key down so that it doesn't move. And I'm going to take my tape and stick it to the body of the instrument. Now that it's like that, you can barely see it. There's just some tape there and the cigarette paper underneath. Notice that it's not hitting any of the other keys. It's just on the A key. So the cool thing about cigarette paper is that it will only be activated when you vent this key. On most professional models, you're going to have a hole here that we typically cover, right? But in order to use it and ignite the cigarette paper, you're going to have to vent it, meaning push down this key, but don't cover up this hole. So, sounds like this if you don't ignite the cigarette paper. And if I instead vent it. that buzzing, rattling sound. Um, it's even more impressive or exciting in the higher register. So if you play like a high D without it, and with it, I'm just moving my middle finger in and out. To use that cigarette paper. Super easy. It doesn't damage your instrument at all. And it's there to go whenever you need it. When you want to remove it, you just take the tape off and there goes your cigarette paper. There are actually a bunch of compositions that use cigarette paper for the prepared flute. Check these out. Stay tuned for other how-to videos on preparing your flute.